Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner. Welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the great pleasure of meeting with Clive Armitage, and he's the CEO of Agent3. Great to be with you, Gerhard. Well, welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us about yourself and also about the solution that you have created and what problems are you chasing? Sure. So Agent3 is uh, a company that helps other companies build a bigger pipeline that's faster to close by giving insights which are very actionable, highly valuable across the sales funnel. And we do that by aggregating large amounts of trusted key premium data um, across named accounts for our customers, which allow our customers to really build sales and marketing strategies that are founded on insight and not instinct. And that's the problem we look to solve, right, which is that too many companies today are still focused on building strategies and engagement uh, sales models which are based around experience and instinct. And that has its place, but the amount of data that's now out there, particularly around the early stage of the funnel, to really understand the pain points of customers and prospects is so significant, but it's not being utilized. And that's what we're looking to solve on behalf of our customers. And who's a typical buyer and what organization is interested in that solution? So that's a great question. I think typically we tend to be bought by marketing and sales people um, at the strategic level. So marketers tend to buy uh, the platform and use us because they're looking to be perhaps more strategic in how they build their campaigns. So they want the insights that help them understand how are we better going to take marketing campaigns to market which are going to resonate with our key target audiences. And if we've got the insight, then we can build better campaigns. Salespeople tend to look at us and say, well, actually, if I understand more what's happening within my key and named accounts from an insight perspective, then I can engage when my account may be interested in what I've got to sell, I'll know who to, uh, to uh, target, and I'll have a better chance of success. So we tend to operate across both sales and marketing audiences. So you mentioned something really interesting, uh, the tension between insights and instinct. Yeah. So do you see across sales and marketing organizations that they're actually using it, or are they defaulting to instinct? So I think that the reality is that there's both a digital transformation that needs to happen, where companies look at the amount of data that's available to them and think about how they can drive value, but there's also a personal change process that needs to happen. And the two things have to happen at the same time. The easier thing is actually the, di the digital transformation. The harder thing is the personal transformation because it means doing things in a different way. It means changing the way that you've worked in the past. And I think there is that slight tension that people who have been doing the same thing for a long time, they don't want to try and change. But our job is to try and help them understand that actually all of their experience is still incredibly valid but they can use the insights that we deliver from the data to be even more efficient and more effective when they look at their engagement strategies. So their mindset needs to shift from, um, from art to science. I think the, increasingly, increasingly, the lead has to be the scientific element, yeah. but we'll never lose that, that human touch. You know, right. Business is founded on relationships and on interaction between humans. Right. So the science leads, but it does inform the, 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 the art, right. the human touch, right. and, and that won't go away. Right. So what is next for you and your business? Hopefully lots of growth. We've got a new version of the platform coming out in the next couple of weeks, which um, is tremendously exciting for us. We are bringing to market um, a, a version of the platform which will introduce something that we're calling Insight Qualified Leads, so, or, or as we term them, IQLs. So at the top of the funnel, where there's intent and interest during the research phase, consideration phase, we're going to be helping our customers understand what's happening at that stage way better than they currently do. So that's a big innovation for us. Beyond that, we will continue to drive more machine learning uh, techniques. We will start to really drive the AI element of the platform. And then hopefully, um, we'll see the kind of change that needs to happen from a cultural and an organizational perspective that the way that we operate our platform becomes the norm for companies and it's the way that they believe that they've got to be effective in terms of sales and marketing strategies. So you help companies future-proof themselves? Well, as we all know, the big challenge for companies is they've got to continue evolving because if they don't evolve, then they're going to die. And that's really where we look to serve our customers is help them understand if they can be competitive based around um, a better and a more efficient sales pipeline generation process from data, then that's going to help them be competitive in the long run. 
and no one wants to be a dinosaur. Everyone wants to you know, not be necessarily be at the bleeding edge of technology, but be at the point where the technology can aid their growth and make sure that they are looking at a future which is going to be very, very successful. How can people learn more about you and your company? So the obvious thing is to come to our website, agent3.com. Um, we've got a great web presence there. People can sign up for a demo of the platform. Um, they can find out more about how the software platform actually operates um, and get in touch because we'd love to talk to more and more companies and, and grow our business and grow the impact that we have. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.